Let's start working on question 21 in this video. So we have an economy that produces two goods, food and, foods and, food and clothing, with two inputs, capital and labor. Now we have the production function for food, we have it for clothing over here as well. We have 100 units of labor in the economy and 400 units of capital. What is the contract curve? What's going to be the production possibilities frontier? So let's start working on the contract curve. Now let's recall what is the contract curve. The contract curve shows, shows the relationship between the capital and the labor in the economy when companies trade it optimally, when companies operate freely in the market and exchange capital for labor until they cannot do any better. So we want the marginal rate of technical substitution for the food companies <clears throat> to be equal to the marginal rate of technical substitution for the clothing companies. Now let's recall what is the marginal rate of technical substitution. If we draw it on a graph, for instance, if we have the case for the food company, let's say this is our food company and we know that food company employs capital and labor so we have the capital of the food company and the labor of the food company and it employs it, it employs it in such a way to produce food so we would have a certain level of production an iso quant of the food and at a specific point on this curve let's say over here if we draw the slope what does the slope show us it shows us the change in quantity for the food relative to the change in labor, meaning that if we want to, pr to get one more unit of labor in food production, how much capital do we have to give up? That's going to be our marginal rate of technical substitution. And at the same time, this is also equal to the relative marginal productivities, because to get one more unit of labor, it means we have an additional marginal productivity of that, la of that labor, relative to the marginal productivity that we could have if we employed the additional unit of capital. So we want to have this equation, this relationship, that's our MRTS for the food production. And the same logic goes for the MRTS of the clothing production. Now, with this in mind, let's first calculate the MRTS. So let's calculate the MRTS for the food production. We said that's gonna be the ratio of the marginal productivities, so we will work with derivatives the marginal rate of technical substitution of the food production is equal to the marginal productivity with respect to labor of food production divided by the marginal productivity with respect to capital of food production. Now, we have the production function of food from here. Let's work with it. Let's differentiate the production function with respect to labor and then with respect to capital. So we would have L to the power 1 over 2 times K to the power 1 over 2. We differentiate it with respect to labor first. Now, labor is the variable, everything else is the constant. So L, <coughs> sorry, what is the constant? K to the power 1 over 2. K to the power 1 over 2 is the constant. Differentiate L to the power 1 over 2. That's going to be 1 over 2 times L to the power minus 1 over 2 by using the uh, property of derivatives. So that was the marginal productivity with respect to labor. With the same logic, let's do the marginal productivity with respect to capital. So marginal productivity with respect to capital. We differentiate L to the power 1 over 2 times K to the power 1 over 2. Derivative with respect to capital. That would equal to labor is going to be the constant. Capital is our variable. So let's take the constant out. Let me change colors. That's going to be L to the power 1 over 2. L to the power 1 over 2 times k to the power 1 over 2 derivative with respect to k, that's 1 over 2 times k to the power minus 1 over 2. So we got both, we got both marginal productivities, let's use them together to find out the marginal rate of technical substitution for food production. So we're going to take the ratio, MRTS for the food production is going to equal to k to the power 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 times L to the power minus 1 over 2 divided by L to the power 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 times k to the power minus 1 over 2. Let's work out some math here because we can cancel out some terms. So 1 over 2 and 1 over 2 goes away. Now what's that gonna be? k to the power 1 over 2 times L to the power of minus 1 over 2. L to the power minus 1 over 2 can be written as 1 over L to the power 1 over 2. In other words, to not talk too much, let's just write it k divided by L to the power 1 over 2. That's what we would get from the numerator. Over, same logic here, L to the power 1 over 2. And because we have k to the power minus 1 over 2, that's going to be 1 over k to the power 1 over 2. And if we take them together, that's L over k to the power 1 over 2. 
Now, if we actually do this division, what do we get? We get a ratio. We will have k divided by l to the power 1 over 2. And when we divide by l over k to the power 1 over 2, we multiply with the inverse. We multiply with k over l to the power 1 over 2. And if we add every term, because that would be k to the power 1 over 2 times k to the power 1 over 2, times k to the power 1 over 2, divided by l to the power 1 over 2 times l to the power 1 over 2. And we can see that would be just a ratio of k divided by l. K divided by l. So we found the ratio for the MRTS for food production only. With the same logic, let's do it for the clothing production. So for the clothing production, we take the function of the clothing production, which is this one. 2L to the power half times K to the power half. So let's do it over here. We will have 2 L to the power a half times k to the power a half. Derivative with respect to labor first. So what's going to be the constant? What's going to be the variable? L is our variable. 2 times k to the power 1 over 2 is the constant. Let's write the constant first. 2 times k to the power 1 over 2. Differentiate L to the power 1 over 2, which is 1 over 2 times L to the power minus 1 over 2. Now let's work out some math here. We can cancel out the 2 with a half. 2 and a half. So that's equal to k to the power 1 over 2 times L to the power minus 1 over 2. Same as it was before. Now let's do it the same way uh, with respect to capital. So 2 times L to the power 1 over 2 multiplied with k to the power 1 over 2. Derivative with respect to capital. Capital is the variable. 2 times L to the power 1 over 2 is the constant. Take the constant out. 2 times L to the power 1 over 2 multiplied with 1 over 2 times k to the power minus 1 over 2. Let's work out some math here as well. 2 and 2 cancel out. So we would have L to the power 1 over 2 times k to the power minus 1 over 2. And now we will see the relationship with the previous MRTS. We can see that we have the same data. We see that what we had over here is the same what we have over here. So as a result, we will get to the same ratio. We will get just to k over L. And that's the MRTS of the clothing production, whereas the previous one was the MRTS of the food production. MRTS of the food production. We can see it's the same ratio, but this is the capital from the food production relative to the labor of the food production. This is the capital of the clothing production relative to the labor of the clothing production. And in the next video, we will see how these two uh, relate to each other.